Hello everybody, today I will show you how to deploy your static websites for free on the new DigitalOcean app platform. The app platform allows you to easily deploy all kinds of different applications like PHP applications, Laravel applications and a lot more with zero infrastructure management and automated deploys. To keep this simple, I'll show you how to deploy a simple static website. What I will do is head over to this open source project called Tails and I will grab one of the landing pages from the templates folder. I'll go for this landmark HTML file. I'll click here and just get the HTML file. This is written in Erwin CSS, so it's only HTML and no CSS files. Next, I'll create a new demo repository and let's call this DO app demo, for example. Okay, I'll keep this as a public repository. Then I'll add a readme file and I'll just hit the create button here. Sure enough, after a few seconds, this should be ready. And then I can go ahead and add a new file. To do that, click on the add file and then create new file. I uh, will call the new file index.html so that this would be the main page of our website. Then I'll paste the content of the HTML here and then I'll commit the change. Okay, with that we have our static website ready. Of course, if you have your website ready, then make sure to push it to GitHub and use it instead of creating a new repository from scratch. I'm doing this just as a demo. Then once we have the repository ready, head back to the DigitalOcean control panel and click on the apps link. This will take you to the DigitalOcean app platform. And once there, click on create app. Here, if you don't have your GitHub connected already, just make sure to click the connect to GitHub button and this would configure everything for you automatically. Then search for your repository and hit next. Here, choose the region that's closest to you. I'll go for Frankfurt. And then make sure that the auto deploy is enabled. That way, when you make changes to your GitHub repository, the code would be automatically deployed to your app platform. After that, here, you can leave everything as it is and just hit next as we are just using a static website. Then, as we're going to host a static site, we can go for the startup package, which is basically free. Finally, just hit the launch button. Then this would pull the code from our GitHub repository and deploy it to the DigitalOcean app platform. This should not take more than a few seconds. While this is building, you can go to the settings tab and see the different settings that you can change. For example, you can add a custom domain name. If you don't have a domain name, that should not be a problem as DigitalOcean provides us with a subdomain name that we could use. Looks like it's already done. So if we go to the URL provided by the DigitalOcean platform, we will be able to see our static website already deployed. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a change. For example, let's, let's change this big text here. If you go to GitHub and edit the in index file, then find the section that you want to change. This should be right here. Yep. Okay, so let's change this code and let's put it something else. DigitalOcean is awesome. Okay, looks good. Let's remove those, those two lines here. And then scroll down and commit the changes. Okay, the changes can be committed. This means that GitHub has sent a push signal to the DigitalOcean app platform and this has triggered an automatic deploy. Then again, after a few seconds, our change would be live on our website. Okay, the deployment was successful. So now if you visit the site again, here you can see the updated message. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you can deploy 
and host a static website for free on the new DigitalOcean app platform. I hope you find this useful and if so, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next.